December 5th, 2011 was a very tragic day for me and my family. It was the day that my four-year-old niece, uh, Maya Kinnett, passed away from DIPG, a form of brain cancer. And it's, it's an event that even to this day has been very hard for me to process. But through the production of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, and our implementing of Guts for Glory, it's allowed me to not only process her death, but also grieve. For me, this is a chance to use the same passion and energy that Maya had that would win the hearts of each and every person that was with her in the room and use that as inspiration for me to use my passion and my energy when I perform on stage. I think that even in today's society in the United States, we're able to see that crisis produces an opportunity for people to come together. And that's what we're doing through this production is we're using the tragedy of the death of a four-year-old girl to honor her life but also to inspire someone to pursue his or her dream. Us as an alumni group are coming together to put on this show and we want to take the proceeds that we generate from this show and create a scholarship for a future student that's graduating from our old high school. And we want to give the scholarship to them if they're going to graduate and uh, pursue their education in the performing arts. It's a great show, family friendly. Um, there's a lot of fun singing and dancing and song. It really brings the comic books of Charlie Brown to life. So you get to see all your favorite characters lined up on stage singing and dancing and um, literally bringing the comic book to life. Before I came to the school, I was basically just this shy kid who didn't talk much. But as soon as I got into the theater program, uh, it allowed me to express myself and become that crazy fool that you see when you probably meet me now. The name is kind of unique, and I feel like it's it's good for the group that we are because we're a very, very unique, very diverse group of people. And I kind of actually got the idea from Mrs. Harji. We were in their living room before we really started on the show, and we were just talking about how are we going to get this done, and where are we going to find the money, and what are we going to do? And she was like, you know, it takes a pretty crazy group of kids to decide that this is what they want to do, and that this is what they want to stand for, and this is what they want to kind of go for in their lives and I don't know it was just like guts you gotta have guts to do something crazy like this you gotta have guts to really do anything worthwhile in life as a student who just graduated from high school and preparing for college I'm really excited to be a part of this show it's been a great experience so far and I can't wait to see how it turns out so listen I encourage you to come out it's gonna be a family friendly show uh, but more importantly it goes beyond that it's gonna be a show that honors the life of a little girl and inspires a graduating student to pursue his or her own dream.